Okay, good afternoon. Uh, the distribution of COVID vaccines is a topic very much in the minds of people across the province of Ontario. I can assure you it is a top priority of our government. We have developed a comprehensive three-phase vaccine rollout plan and we are making steady progress on its execution. To date, we have administered over 1 million vaccine doses, including to the vast majority of residents and staff in our long-term care and retirement homes. And this milestone has been accomplished in the face of unreliable estimates and numerous delays in vaccine supply. Over the past number of months, we've been expanding our capacity to get needles in arms. In addition to hospital clinics, we have mass vaccination sites, mobile clinics, and now primary care setting in pharmacies across the province and these delivery channels continue to expand by the day. We are now vaccinating over 40,000 people per day. But the reality is that we can do more. We have the capacity to do 150,000 shots each day, but the lack of steady supply of vax, but we need a steady supply of vaccines to do so. We are ready to ramp up our distribution plan immediately. The issue we face is the uncertainty around supply. We cannot ramp up dozens of mass vaccination sites to their full capacity only to close their doors to sit idle for days or weeks when they run out of shots. Further, we have four vaccines approved for use in Ontario and we have limited to no information, especially about two of them. We don't have much, uh, we don't know much on AstraZeneca we are getting or, or how much AstraZeneca we are getting and we have zero information about Johnson and Johnson. Without a steady, reliable supply of vaccines, we cannot offer people the protection they so desperately are looking for. The federal government needs to step up, up and provide us with clarity on the number of vaccines we are getting and when we can expect to get them. When compared to other countries, we are lagging far behind. The United States has set a goal of getting every adult in their country their first dose by mid-May. Here in Canada, we must do better. Our government is prepared to work with the federal government to achieve our common goal of providing a vaccine to every Canadian who wants one, but first we need the vaccines. It is time for Ottawa to deliver. Thank you and I'd be happy to take any questions. Thank you. We'll now go to questions from the phone lines. Thank you. First question is from Laura Stone. Please go ahead. Hello, Paul. Um, I, I must confess, I'm a bit surprised that you're out here talking about this. Why are, why are you here? Why are you the one coming out to talk about the province's vaccine plan? And are, and are you doing this in advance of Monday's launch? Because are you trying to get out in front of the province's inability to, to deliver? Like, what, why are you out here? preemptively kind of suggesting that you're not going to be able to do that many shots? Well, look, I think it's uh, it's important. Uh, it's an important question. Laura. It's important that we get out there and we explain to people uh, what uh, uh, there are a number of questions that we're getting across uh, the province and in, in constituency offices. And we've had a lot of success in getting vaccines in people's arms, almost a million doses. We're seeing uh, success with respect to uh, uh, the the pilots in uh, in, uh, in in pharmacies ac across uh, a number of areas of the province, uh, but there are a number of mass vaccination clinics that are waiting for vaccines, a steady supply of vaccines to uh, to get going. And some of our partners have uh, have asked us uh, these questions: When will we have this steady supply? And we have to, and, and we are getting out there, letting people know we are ready to go. We have had tremendous success so far. As I said, a million uh, a million. Uh, uh, needles in arms so far that is a tremendous success we have had progress across the province uh, but we need a steady supply of vaccines and uh, that is the one thing that we are lacking but we are ready to go and uh, uh, look I'm encouraged at what we've accomplished so far and I think uh, we can uh, uh, Ontarians uh, want this to happen they want it to happen faster and if we can get the vaccines uh, and a steady supply of vaccines and the information surrounding how many we will be getting uh, with respect to AstraZeneca, Johnson & Johnson. I think that will help us plan and work better with our partners to ensure that uh, we get these needles in arms quicker. Follow up? Uh, can you explain why is it that Quebec is able to move to those 65 and over in, in the Montreal area? 75% of Montrealers age 70 and over have either been vaccinated or already have an appointment. You know, they're not coming out and saying the 
federal government hasn't issued enough supply, we don't have enough vaccines. Why is it that they're able to do this and Ontario is not? Yeah, and, and as I just said, Laura, we've uh, uh, been very successful, over uh, a million doses so far, and, uh, and uh, that has been a great success. We're seeing the pilot pro, uh, program with respect to pharmacies rolling out with uh, the supply of AstraZeneca that we have, the limited supply of AstraZeneca that we have for 60 to 64-year-olds. Uh, we are moving into our, uh, our phase two with respect uh, uh, to 80 year, years old and up who are outside of the congregate care settings. Uh, but we are ready to do more. We are ready to do more. We have mass vaccination sites uh, uh, across the, the province of Ontario that is ready, that are ready to go. Uh, and uh, we need the information. Not only do we need the vaccines, but we need the information so that we can work with our partners in a better way to ensure uh, that uh, as we get the supply, uh, we, we know that we can do up to 150,000 doses a day. Uh, and we just need the information and we need, more importantly, we need the vaccine. Thank you. And we'll go to the next question. Just a reminder, it's one question and one follow-up. From Kerry Vierma at CBC National News. Please go ahead. Yeah, I kind of echo Laura's point. Like the Prime Minister today announced a firmed up Pfizer delivery schedule. We're going to get 1 million doses per week, March 22nd to May 10th, based on Pfizer and Moderna's numbers and anticipated COVID shield deliveries. That's 8 million vaccine doses in April alone. So how can you cry that there's not enough vaccines and when there is 8 million doses coming in the month of April alone? Yeah, look, we have, uh, we have been told consistently uh, throughout uh, the last number of months that we could expect certain amounts of vaccines and, and, and doses to arrive in the province of Ontario, and that has not happened. We have had mass vaccination uh, sites ready to go, but we have not had the supply to, uh, to allow those, uh, those clinics uh, to operate. Look, I am very hopeful, as I know all Ontarians and all Canadians are, that the federal government will be able to, to deliver the vaccines that they have promised this time. They haven't been able to do it in the past. I am hopeful that they will actually deliver this time. We are ready to go. We have done, we've had tremendous success in, uh, in distributing the vaccines that we have, uh, have received, but we want more. And uh, we want not only more vaccines, but we want more information with respect to the vaccines we will be getting, whether it's AstraZeneca or Johnson and, uh, and Johnson. We're hearing this from a lot of, uh, lot of Ontarians. And, uh, and I think it's very important that we get out there, we explain to people what it is that, uh, uh, how we are prepared to go, uh, but what are some of the reasons why we are not quite there just yet. And, and ultimately, uh, it's the vaccines. Uh, once we have a good, steady supply of vaccines, we can really ramp this up even more that we have and build on the success that we've had so far. Follow up. But then how can you say it's a lack of vaccines when also you've seen a really disjointed vaccine response? To Laura's point about Montreal today, they have, the government of Quebec has prioritized the region of Montreal because it is ground zero for COVID in that province. Toronto and Peel is ground zero for COVID in this province. Obviously, the situation in Thunder Bay and Sudbury is also deteriorating, but it seems that other provinces have a much more cohesive vaccination strategy that's beginning to pay off when we can't even seem to get our priority groups vaccinated fast enough. So instead of playing politics over situations related to AstraZeneca and Johnson & Johnson, which do have more complex delivery realities, given the United States, et cetera, we know we're getting 8 million doses in April. So why aren't we focused on trying to get that out as quickly as possible in priority regions? Yeah, I, and, and I'm very hopeful that uh, that we will uh, actually receive the doses that we've been promised. We know in the past that wasn't uh, that wasn't the case, but I, 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 I'm hopeful and optimistic that that will be the case. Uh, we have, uh, of course, we focused on phase one with respect to congregate care settings, whether it was long-term care homes, uh, retirement homes, uh, frontline workers, those who are working in those in those settings, and we've been very successful in getting that in getting that out. It's part of the one million doses that we have uh, have already gotten out there. We are seeing a great deal of success and uh, a lot of desire for the AstraZeneca in the pilots uh, that we are uh, currently undertaking in. Uh, uh, with our, our partners in the pharmacy sector. Uh, very successful uh, uh, successful there. Uh, and we have been rolling it out across the province. We have mass vaccination sites that are, that are ready to go. So I am optimistic. Uh, uh, I know that we are ready. I know that Ontarians want uh, uh, the vaccine. I am hopeful that we will get the information that we need with respect to AstraZeneca and, and Johnson & Johnson. And I am, I am I'm very hopeful that uh, 
uh, that the, the deliveries that we have been promised will actually uh, uh, will actually show up and that we'll be able to have a consistent supply. It's not just about uh, short getting short-term supply. We need a consistent long-term supply of the vaccines so that we can continue to uh, uh, to u utilize these mass vaccination sites and get uh, 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 every Ontarian who wants a, a, a vaccine uh, uh, done as soon as possible. Look, the United States, uh, they're going to be able to do this uh, much quicker than than, uh, than Canada. I think we can do better and, and I am hopeful and I'm optimistic that uh, that we will and that these doses hopefully will arrive and that we won't be uh, see a setback like we did uh, when the vaccines didn't arrive in, uh, in, uh, in February. Thank you. Next question. From Sean Jeffers, the Canadian Press. Hi, Paul. A uh, question for you just generally about uh, signing blame here. I mean, this, this hasn't been a great week for the government on a number of fronts, but on the vaccine front, do you think the people in, in Ontario care that you're blaming the federal government? Don't you think they're going to blame you and your government uh, for the confusion over the rollout this week? Uh, yeah, look, I, I don't, uh, uh, I'm not assigning blame to the federal government in any way, shape or form. What we want is to ensure that we have, I think, uh, you would agree that we need to uh, be able to assure that we have a steady and constant stream of vaccines that are arriving in the province of Ontario. We we were prepared in February for this, and it didn't it didn't happen. We were ready to ramp up our uh, uh, mass vaccination clinics. It didn't happen. We're seeing. Uh, uh, through uh, the pilots that we're running right now with with our pharmacy partners, that people are anxious. They are ready to get uh, uh, vaccines. They've been very, very successful. The only thing holding us back is a steady supply of vaccines. So, uh, look, ultimately, the people of the province of Ontario, the people of Canada, uh, they want to, to get past this. They want to move beyond this. They are anxious to do that. Uh, the provinces are ready to work uh, and have been working very closely with the federal government, uh, and the people of Ontario should know uh, that uh, that we are ready. Uh, it's just a lack of vaccines in the short term that are hold that is holding us back. Follow up. Yeah, and and, and Paul, further to, to Laura's first question, there. Why are you out here today? Are you are you trying to change the channel on behalf of the premier, who's not at the mic because he made the comments that he made yesterday about Saul Mamakwa? And are you trying to change the channel more directly over the problems with the vaccine rollout this week? No, no look, uh, I, I, I've been, uh, uh, again, I, I, I'm optimistic. What I've seen with respect to the, the rollout uh, at pharmacies has been, uh, uh, has, has been very encouraging to me. Uh, it, uh, it looks like people are very excited and wanting to get uh, uh, vaccines in the arm. I'm very excited when earlier this week we hit 1,000 uh, a thousand doses that that is really really good news but we are hearing people are anxious they want to know uh, uh, when they can get their uh, uh, their vaccine uh, uh, and uh, as I, as I say it's it's about getting a steady a steady supply I am optimistic uh, uh, as uh, as I've said uh, on a number of occasions I'm very optimistic and I'm hopeful that the supply that has been promised will actually uh, be delivered to the province of Ontario and across Canada for that matter. It was a setback when, uh, when, that's, when those supplies that were promised in, in February didn't arrive. We we're going to continue to work with, uh, with the federal government uh, to make sure uh, that when these doses do arrive, we get them into people's arms as quickly as possible because that's what people want. Next question, please. From John McGrath, TVO, please go ahead. Uh, Paul, not to sound like everyone else here, but I am curious why uh, it's you making this announcement. Because uh, with the health minister, for example, you know, uh, we could ask more precise questions. So I'm just going to ask this one anyway. Uh, as precisely as you can, what is the information that you think the Ontario government is lacking? What is it that you want to see instead? Is this a matter of um, uh, short notice? Is it a, a matter of not getting um, uh, enough uh, forward-looking guidance from, from Ottawa? What is it specifically, as specifically as you're able to say, that you, you're, you want instead? Yeah, I think it's a, it's a combination of, of, of a number of factors. Uh, uh, we, are, we are obviously seeing, uh, uh, as, I, as I said specifically, with, with respect to the rollout of, uh, of AstraZeneca in, in, in our, with our pharmacy partners, that has been very, very well received. Uh, we've seen uh, the effectiveness uh, 
uh, of, uh, of our plan so far with respect to one million doses out there. Uh, the focus on long-term care, the focus on congregate care settings and, uh, and frontline workers, uh, that has been uh, successfully done. We want to move to phase two as, as quickly as possible and we are in a, number of, uh, in, in a number of areas. Some of our partners, a number of our partners, including the City of Toronto, for example, they have mass vaccination sites ready to go, but the reason that they can't move forward is because of a, of a lack of, uh, of, uh, of vaccines to, to ensure the, the continuity of the, of the, of the program. So, so we do need to know what are the numbers uh, that, uh, that, we will, uh, that we will be receiving, when we, when we can receive uh, uh, those, uh, those doses. This is all will help us in, uh, in drafting uh, uh, the next phases and, and being able to continuously update the people of the province of Ontario. Uh, as to when they can expect to have uh, their vaccines and how the, the rollout is working in regions across the province. Follow-up? Uh, you know, one of the things that the province hasn't been very good about is being transparent on uh, when and how it is receiving doses. Uh, you know, people who are trying to put together public uh, uh, trackers of uh, this information have to rely on federal information. Uh, there continue to be questions about uh, how much of the vaccines that have been administered are still being done on paper-based records instead of uh, digital. Uh, I know that people are trying their hardest in terms of uh, pharmacies and clinics and, and the digital side of things, um, but doesn't the province have to accept some of the blame here in terms of uh, the, 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 the hurdles of the rollout? Yeah, look, ultimately, uh, I think what people want is they want the assurance that uh, a vaccine will be made available to them and as quickly as possible. There was a bit of frustration, as I said, in, uh, in February when uh, the vaccines that were promised to us uh, did not uh, did not arrive. The province had ramped up and was ready to provide these vaccines, working with our, our partners in public health across, uh, across uh, Ontario. And there was a frustration. We're also seeing... As, uh, as you mentioned, uh, our partners in, in the pharmacy sector, the excitement uh, and, uh, and the desire for people to get needles in arms and to get that, uh, and to get that vaccine. So our job, we are focusing on doing just that. Uh, we have been very successful in terms of getting a million, uh, a million doses out there. I think that is very good news. What's good news as well uh, is that we are seeing very positive results in, uh, uh, through phase one, uh, whether it was the congregate care settings, our frontline workers, we're seeing very positive uh, results uh, on that end, uh, and 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 I'm optimistic uh, about where we go from where we go from here. Uh, but in order to work uh, uh, to ensure that this program continues in an effective manner, we need to know for sure what the what doses we'll be getting, and to ensure that that continuity of supply is uh, is there. That hasn't been there now. We're going to continue to work very closely with the federal government to make sure that it is. Thank you. We'll come back to the uh, phone lines in just a moment. We'll go to Jamie Tamelty in the room for the next question. I'm going to ask the same question because we barely haven't got an answer. You called this press conference with less than a half an hour of warning on a Friday afternoon before constituency week. Very few people are here. I just watched the Minister of Health leave the building a few minutes ago. Why are you trying to reiterating the same battle cry the Premier has said many times about the supply of vaccine? What is the motive for this meeting? Yeah, look, I, I, again, James, we, as, I, as I said, uh, uh, We've we've seen how successful that rollout has been at uh, our pharmacy partners. We've seen the excitement around uh, that rollout. We've seen, uh, even in my own community, uh, uh, when it, the vaccines were made available to people, how excited they were to get out there and get vaccines. We've seen uh, we've seen that, and we are getting a lot of calls from uh, from people who are wondering when there will be more vaccines available to them. I think constituency offices across the province. Uh, are, uh, are are he are hearing that. Uh, what I'm out here doing is 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 assuring the people of the province of Ontario we are ready to go. We are optimistic about uh, about where we're going, but we need a steady supply. We are ready to, for with our public health partners across the province. We are ready to administer millions of doses and get them into the arms of the people of the province of on of Ontario. Uh, and uh, and I want people to be assured that uh, that the province of Ontario, working with its partners. Uh, is ready to go and that we are ready to build on the success that we've had uh, so far. It is just that, that steady and continuous supply that we are, we are lacking. I was very excited by the, by the announcement I heard uh, this morning as I sure, by the federal governors, as I'm sure a lot of people were. Uh, uh, but we, we've heard that before and we have to make sure uh, that what we are promised now is what we will receive. We can't uh, face a situation like we did in February 
uh, where uh, provinces and public health units across this, uh, across this province uh, were prepared to administer uh, thousands of doses and then it didn't show up. And I think uh, what we've seen over the short term, really, the, the, uh, uh, in particular over the last uh, couple of days with our, with our pharmacy partners, uh, is an example of how quickly we can move to get this vaccine in people's arm. It is a testament to the hard work uh, of uh, frontline workers across this province. We are ready to go. Uh, we just need uh, uh, those, uh, uh, those vaccines and we need them continuously. Uh, uh, and I want to assure the people of the province of Ontario that we're ready. Follow up. I know all the, all the other provinces have the same yep. uh, supply problem, but they're, they're more advanced. And I didn't really hear an answer why. But also, I'm asking about, um, I know this isn't in your bailiwick, and it, it's a little outside your portfolio, but you're the only one here, or you're standing in for the Minister of Health, who I would ask this question to. Um, Amazon, uh, for all intents and reasons, has just been forced to shut down its facility in Brampton because of COVID. Why did it get to that point? You have uh, the Minister of Monty Mayotte has been um, expressing how many uh, inspections they've mm -hmm. been doing. But why does it come to the level of COVID infections so high that they have to shut down the entire plant? How does that happen? Yeah, look, uh, that uh, uh, first and foremost, uh, uh, the, the Minister of Labour has, uh, has outlined how many inspections that they have been doing across the province of, uh, of, uh, of Ontario. And they've been very aggressive, not only in, in inspecting uh, workplaces across the province, but also in, in educating uh, at, uh, at the same time. Uh, uh, I know that uh, we support, the, certainly support what Dr. Lowe has done uh, with respect uh, uh, to Amazon and, uh, uh, and this is part of the reason why. This is one of the reasons why we, we, we have to get out there and explain to people uh, that your province is ready. We are ready to provide uh, more vaccines to get them in, in the arms of the, of the people of the province of Ontario. Uh, part of our, our next phase focuses on, on communities that have been, uh, that have been hard hit. Uh, so we are ready to go, and uh, uh, we just need that steady supply of vaccines. I'm optimistic by, why, by what I've seen from the federal government today, but uh, I've been optimistic in the past, and it didn't uh, it didn't quite result in, in what we had hoped for. Uh, but we are ready to go. A million vaccines so far, a su very successful uh, long-term care phase one rollout uh, uh, in congregate care, long-term care. Uh, retirement homes, frontline workers, a very successful rollout with respect to the pilot in, in pharmacies. Uh, and uh, I, we have every reason to be optimistic that if this supply actually shows up, uh, we can start to put this behind us. And I think that is a imp very important message, message for the people of the province of Ontario, the people of, uh, uh, of, of Brampton and frontline workers everywhere. Thank you. We'll go back to the phone lines for the next question. From Jessica Smith at Queen's Park Briefing. Please go ahead. Hi, thanks for taking my question. So I had some time to do the math while I was on hold there. It looks like the province has about 400,000 doses uh, that have yet to be administered. And I think you're expecting about $160,000 within the next day or so. So I don't see the lack of supply issue right now. Can you explain that gap? Yeah, yeah. Uh, look, we can get through those doses very, very quickly. And one of the reasons why you, you can't ramp up uh, mass vaccination uh, uh, centers is because you would be forced in the position where you're opening them and closing them, which would cause a tremendous amount of confusion for, uh, 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 for people. So we will get through those doses uh, uh, very, very quickly. The reality is, though, that in order to do, to catch up and, uh, and, and, and really uh, hopefully exceed what, what our, our friends down south uh, are, uh, are projecting, uh, we need a steady supply. If we do that, if we can get a steady, consistent supply of vaccines into the province of Ontario, we are ready to go across this province uh, to, as I said, a million doses so far. Great, but we need, the, we need more vaccines in order to... Uh, 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 to really put this uh, uh, this behind us to attack situations like we've seen in uh, in Brampton, so uh, that is really one of the reasons why we uh, uh, we are so uh, vocal about getting these vaccines and making sure that it remains consistent. Follow up. I'm sorry if it gets a little bit repetitive, but as Jamie mentioned, this press conference was scheduled on a Friday afternoon with short notice. Did you get some kind of bad news this afternoon that prompted this? Uh, no, not at all. Uh, 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 look, I uh, again. I'll just I'll just repeat what I said earlier. Uh, look, what we've seen uh, 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 the uh, the excitement with respect to uh, uh, the pharmacy rollout, uh, in particular, uh, it has been uh, it has gone very well, uh, and people are anxious to get uh, a vaccine. Uh, 
Uh, we have seen, uh, as I said, in those areas that have started to, to roll out phase two, uh, people are not it, in any way hesitant to get it. They want to have that, uh, that vaccine. And it is important for us, whether it's on a Friday, Monday, uh, whenever, that we get out there and we explain to people. The Premier has been doing this literally for a full year. He's been getting out there and explaining to people uh, uh, what the province is doing to combat COVID-19. And look, I, I, if it's, whether it's a Friday afternoon or a Saturday morning, we're going to do that. I, I'm just so optimistic by how, uh, uh, how the first uh, uh, phase uh, rolled out, the fact that we uh, administered a million, our millionth dose this week, the fact that the, uh, the pharmacy uh, pilots have been going so well, and hearing into our constituency offices uh, uh, just how excited people are to get this. Uh, we are ready to go, and I think it's important that the people of the province of Ontario understand that. Thank you. Next question. From Camille Grigsby at CBC French. Please go ahead. Oui, bonjour. Est-ce que c'est possible de répondre en français? Um, en fait, pour revenir un peu sur tout ce que mes collègues ont dit, uh, on a eu aujourd'hui des nouvelles encourageantes de la part d'Ottawa. Qu'est-ce qu'il vous faut de plus maintenant pour accélérer les choses en Ontario? Uh, oui, uh, nous, nous sommes prêts en, en Ontario, comme j'ai déjà dit. Nous sommes prêts en Ontario pour... Uh, uh, pour faciliter uh, beaucoup de, uh, uh, je m'excuse, uh, uh, I'll say some in, in French and some in English, I apologize for that. Uh, we are ready to go, as I've said uh, um, uh, on a number of, uh, of occasions. We have seen a very successful rollout so far with a million doses in, in, uh, in, people's, uh, in people's arms, but we need that steady supply of, uh, of vaccines. And uh, uh, look, uh, I'm, I'm optimistic by, why, by what I've heard uh, this morning from, from the Prime Minister. Uh, but at the same time, we've seen this. Uh, we've we've seen announcements like this in the past. Uh, in particular, in February, it did not uh, uh, manifest in, in the doses that we were expecting. Uh, but but again, I'm I'm so encouraged by what we've seen so far in the initial stages of both phase one. Uh, and uh, I want the people of the province of Ontario, as, a pre as the premier has said on a number of occasions, uh, to know that we are ready to go. We are ready to put this behind us. Follow up. Et en français, toujours, si vous pouvez, est-ce que vous pouvez garantir que le, le fameux portail qui doit être lancé lundi prochain va être bel et bien fonctionnel partout dans la province? Parce que la raison pour laquelle on nous disait qu'il fallait attendre encore, c'est qu'on voulait s'assurer que le portail fonctionne parfaitement. Alors, qu'est-ce que vous pouvez dire de, à ce sujet? Et je m'excuse. Euh, euh, si vous, si vous pouvez euh, 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 dire votre question un peu lentement pour moi. Oui, est-ce que vous pouvez garantir que le portail Internet qui va être lancé lundi prochain pour s'inscrire, pour prendre rendez-vous, est-ce que ça va être bien fonctionnel partout dans la province? Ah oui, oui, euh, je suis... Euh, euh, C'est prêt, comme vous savez, pour euh, lancer lundi. Et nous avons fait beaucoup de travail pour assurer que... Euh, euh, que ce euh, programme est, est prêt. Euh, et, euh, Et, et comme euh, j'ai déjà plusieurs des fois, euh, je suis optimistique euh, que, euh, comme tous les Ontariens, I'm, I'm very optimistic that uh, not only will the uh, the, the platform, uh, uh, we know that the platform is ready, uh, but uh, as I said, uh, people are ready for this, uh, uh, and we are ready uh, to get needles in people's arms, uh, and we just need uh, we just need those vaccines. And I'm again, I'm, I'm optimistic about what I heard today. Uh, but hopefully we can uh, uh, assure that there will be a steady supply to come. Thank you. Next question. From Mo Fahim at Vista Radio. Thank you. Um, uh, so a uh, question is, um, so I'm sorry, I may have missed this at the very beginning, uh, but uh, what is Ontario's current capacity and what uh, is uh, capacity in terms of vaccinations? And then what's the, like, what's the rate we're going at right now? Yeah, so uh, we are vaccinating uh, about 40,000 people a day right now. We have a capacity to do 150,000. Thank you. Uh, and uh, a follow-up question to that. So um, so you're saying that you're optimistic that Ontario is going to get the promise, the, the, the supply that the feds promised this morning. Uh, but it, can you be just a bit more clear, what are you calling on the feds on for? Look, I, I, as I said, uh, uh, we have seen across the province of, on, of Ontario, people are uh, are excited uh, to receive a, a, vac a vaccination. We've seen in those areas where we are working with public health units with respect to the pharmacy out, uh, uh, the pharmacy program uh, that people 
have gone out and they want to get uh, vaccines. We've administered a million doses and we are ready to go. The primary message uh, today is that we are ready to go. We can administer 150,000 doses uh, a day. We just need the vaccines in order to do that. Uh, and as I said, as, as optimistic as I am, as, as hopeful as I was when I heard of the, that announcement today, we've been disappointed in the past, uh, but we are ready to go in the province of Ontario. Question? From Laura Stone at Globe and Mail, please go ahead. Thanks for returning to me. I really appreciate it. Um, Paul, I wanted to ask you about a different topic on the, the decision to increase capacity for churches and religious services in the lockdown regions. What is the justification for that, particularly with the warnings we're hearing about the variant spreading? And are you looking to do that for other businesses, such as um, restaurants or gyms? Yeah, look, we've been working very closely uh, with, uh, not only with uh, Dr. Williams, as you know, uh, uh, the Chief Medical Officer of Health, uh, uh, as well as Chief Medical Officers of Health across the province, and very uh, closely with uh, uh, with uh, religious organiz organizations across the province. Uh, uh, and it was felt that at this time we could move to uh, a, 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 a capacity uh, limit that was higher, a 15% capacity in the province of Ontario, and that it could be safe. We're constantly guided by what the Chief Medical Officer of, uh, of Health's uh, um, advice on this. And, uh, uh, I, and look, I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy that we're able to move in that, uh, in that direction. Follow up. And just uh, to follow up on, on the issue of, of Mr. Mamakwa, your, your government and the Premier are facing calls to apologize to him for the, the comments that were made in the House yesterday regarding allegations of queue jumping. Do you think the Premier has anything to apologize for here, or do you stand by those statements? Yeah, the, the Premier uh, called uh, Saul uh, earlier today and, uh, and apologized uh, to him directly. Thank you. Last question from Jamie. Okay. Uh, I don't know what time it was, Jamie, to be honest with you, but I, I do know the Premier did, uh, did apologize. I did call uh, Mr. Mamakwa earlier today and apologize to him. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.